Oh, that's big! Okay, okay. I'm not gonna go overboard with this, because I already technically have gone overboard. How's it going, boys? This one is for all of you who want to get mythic, or at the bare minimum climb a couple of ranks. You know, be that cool guy at work school who at lunch sits down and tells everyone I got above gold ranking in Magic the Gathering Arena Online. And everyone looks at you funnily and says, what's Magic the Gathering? And who are you anyway? Do you even work here? And that's when you run really fast. Or learn to run really fast. You only have two options. In any case, this is going to be pretty good. Now, admittedly, this is not something you should play in Mythic. This is just to get to Mythic fast. Because this is aggressive and whatnot. But in Mythic, this is going to be more aggro down. And, you know, it's going to become unreliable. So, again, don't play this in Mythic if you want to lose rank. But getting to Mythic... Yeah, this is pretty good. So, the main thing that we're going to be using is Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Now, a lot of you have seen this card, but a lot of you haven't found real good use for it. But I just found one pretty decent use for it. So, this card has two effects. One, when you exile a creature, you can put a plus one, one counter on something that you control. So, instantaneously, it has pretty decent off-the-bat synergy with things like, uh, you know, Anything pretty much Selesnya that uh, get, uh, gets value from counter generation, like the Brawler or additionally the uh, Dust Legion Duelist, or you know, anything of that sort. But the secondary effect is the big one. This card exiles a card and puts it under it, and then anything with a plus one one counter on it, or multiple, has the abilities of the exiled cards, if they're, you know, pay mana or activated abilities of that nature. And that essentially means that we exile one detective might, the de detective, sorry, lol, defective might, and congratulations, pretty much all of your creatures now have the ability to, well, essentially become almost fully immune to single target removal. That's pretty good in this industry. So yeah, that's the biggest use here, obviously. Well, almost, you could say, honestly, the only use that matters. I'm mainly using it for uh, counter generation, but the, the fact that this can prevent blocking and do things of that nature, kind of wild. Kind of honestly wild. But not saying that we need to prevent too much blocking, honestly, here. Uh, but you get the point. Also, we could put in here a Varenslings just for fun, but that would not be really useful or reasonable, so we're not gonna do it. But we could, because activatable. Well, I have never done it, but I'm assuming it works to flip the saga, but the saga is the other half, so maybe it doesn't even work? I'm not sure. I will not try this. You try it and leave it in the comments. But other than that, we're just gonna be using things that draw us a lot of cards, like things like Lead Shredder, Illuminate Virtuoso, and things that, you know, just become extremely aggressive. Like, for example, Generous Visitors. Admittedly, we only have two, but this is fine. Spellbook Vendor, which makes our things just that more aggro and works wonders with things like Illuminate Virtuoso. Uh, the Brawler, because we're gonna generate a lot of plus one counters on our stuff, so this already... Honestly, the Brawler plus Ledge Shredder, just on its own, is a seriously underrated combo. But admittedly, you know, we're kind of trying to do a little bit different things here. And then we have, well, a bunch of things. We have only two gen generous visitors because we have Audacity and Security Bypass. You know, these, these, these cards are enchantments, so, you know, we're gonna get a little bit of bump from that, but, you know, it's not too big, there's not that many of them, so we don't, we don't roll with four of these, and then there's a lot of protection, boon of safety, homestead courage, slip out the back, and take up the shields, again, take up the shields is just for situations where we're up against mono red, and we need some lifelink, also, we have the adver uh, adversary for the pretty much same reason, honestly, and anyway, that's pretty much it. 21 land to be specific, 1.6 average mana cost, ain't that wild. And with that being said, without any further ado, let's just get a crack in and see what happens. Oh, look at this. Skeev it into nothing. I kind of honestly like it. All right, let's see what our opponent is doing. And he's playing mono white. That's this one. 
That's the Vimin equivalent of being a Capricorn in your profile bio. Wait, profile bio? No, that's the woman equivalent of having Capricorn in your bio. There, that's that's a proper sentence, pro probably, who knows. In any case, um, the good part here is... Well, the good part here is this is gonna be a stalemate for a while. And with two slip out the backs, it's not gonna be dangerous per se. So, wait, I can actually always aggro with Skeever. Uh, Lunar Veteran. Uh, is this gonna be... Is this gonna be Flood White? Well, I don't know if Flood White exists. <laughs> yeah. But I assume it does, because I don't see any other way that you're playing Hopeful Initiates plus Luna, uh, Lunar Veterans. It's just the counter red, right? There, there, there is no other logical course of action why you would ever uh, deem anything else to be valuable. Let's see, uh, and I'm gonna do this. Let's see if he tries to actually, like, go for a block on this, right? I really want to see what he does. I think he's gonna go for the double block. Yeah, it's, it's the double block. Okay, so. Do I want to... Do I want to slip out my own thing or the veteran? I think the veteran because I don't want too many of these nuts doing you know too many things So this should be fine. He, he gets no value. He loses a thing. This is a 2-2 technically But who cares at the same point kind of and we're just kind of looking for a good draw Hmm if he attacks it's oh, oh, that's bad Man, I want one of these because that would be really good with the visitor. Okay, well, it is what it is. He's gonna attack. Oh, man, this 2-2 kind of ruined it, huh? Well, that was the wrong choice now. Well, I had a grand plan, but that, yeah, that grand plan kind of... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Grand plan is back in business, boys. Okay. The cauldron saving the day. Because, again, we can just cauldron. Do this. Wham, that's now a 5-3. And it's the stalemate, yet again. Well, it's not gonna be a stalemate for long, because he can just do this. But if he attacks with one, he... He probably wants to attack with a... Really? You're gonna put it on... Well, I guess it's Vigilance. Oh! I see, I see. I guess that does make a lot of sense, huh? Okay. Okay, uh, quite the annoying thing. Man, I have the lands. Yeah, that kind of ruined a, a little bit here, but we should... Okay, that's not fine at all, though. Uh, might as well exile one of my own slip out the backs. It does nothing, by the way. It's just a cutesy thing that you can do. <laughs> okay. Wait, I can... Rem hmm... Well, removing the counters is useless. But this actually does kind of... Okay, okay. Even if he... Okay, okay, he got the land. That's bad. That's annoying. He's gonna drop uh, the three-cost cavalry chick. Ossification? Oh, my. Ah, uh, yeah, that's actually fine. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's that that that's as fine as it gets. Okay, he puts it on that, but I'm not too worried still. Man, this this is actually working out for him good. Wait, why? Uh why attack with the Lunar Quetran? Did you miss No, he didn't misclick. I'm gonna just exile the Lunar Quetran, you understand that, right? And just, you know, do things. I can also get the skiver back at any moment because I can just sack it. Well, not sack. Ooh. Okay, this is good. All right, now, uh, boys, we, we we in business. Also, this is for maybe he wanted that. Just I don't even know why he did that. Um. In any case, I guess what's better, green? Ah, uh, blue and blue and that's better. Okay. So. 
minus 2, remove 2, 5, 1, exile, attack, I can get this back. And if I get this, well, I'm, I can't block with the ski, but man, this situation is harsh. Anything he does... Well, he can actually remove two counters and destroy the cauldron if he feels like it. But will he do that? He has a full hand of MacGuffins. Oh, that's that's definitely kind of... Dude, that's... that's <laughs> Man! Okay. <laughs> that's that's probably not the plan. I ain't gonna lie, Chief. Okay, so what? I minus these two. Uh, get back the skiver, probably. Right? Wait. Minus. Oh no 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 no. Wait, but I. Minus. Do we want to get rid of the ossification though? I think we do, right? Uh, we're gonna draw two. This is... No, 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 no. We don't. We don't get rid of it. And the reason is simple. Because we need this to be a 4-4 in case this attacks. And this is probably attacking next turn. So this is as good as the decision this can be. Man, if the start just... Well, at least at the... You, it is what it is. Anyway, uh, okay. Uh, sure, might as well just exile the visitor just so it's, it looks more colorful. Does nothing, but who cares to play? Ooh! That's big, that's big, that's big. Uh, play this, and now play this. Good! Good! This gives us more power. Also, is this the Omega... No, 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 this is not... It could be, though. I get rid of one. I still have the ju- No, I need to protect this. Because I have card draw and he doesn't. I can draw into so many more things that's just gonna instantaneously obliterate everything. It's gonna be amazing. And this, you know, is protection at the end of the day. I'm probably gonna use it now if he decides to be aggressive. Because there is a chance that he just attacks with the cleric. Ooh! That's bad. Oh, no, no. Wait, no, wait. Fo okay, no, 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 no. Yeah, okay. Attack with that. Wait, he's attacking with everything? What? Yeah, yeah, you, you, you better choose wisely. Okay. We don't block, because blocking is kind of useless and redundant here, right? Ooh, skiver. Um, first things first, I guess. Exile this. Because th th this is making our line just so much honestly better. It's insane. Okay. Oh, that's that's also useful. Okay, do I attack? I wonder what he defends if I attack. Because this Dusk Legionary is a problem for him. 3 mon. Ah, 3 mon is not that bad. Okay, I I'm just... Oh, he just lets it slide. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense because he's kind of looking for the end uh, end, ga uh, end game here. Um, I can play this. But is playing that good? Um, no. Probably not. Can I play the skiver? Well, I can't play... Okay, so the ideal situation is we uh, can play take up the shield, plus remove this in case he just drops an ossification. Because we don't have a skiver under here. If we had, we would be perfectly forever protected from ossification and stupid crap, but we don't. So I need to worry about getting ossified here, which is not what I want to do. If I drop this, it does nothing, but it's at least it's a body to block with. Since I can do both, I'm probably just gonna do it like this, right? Three mana, yeah. Well, it's, there, there's no other choice, okay? There, there's just no choice. Okay, if he drops a du double ossification, I need to get through. But that's gonna ruin my turn. 
I yeah, he, here we have finally Adeline coming to play. Wo whoopty whoopty doopty boopty essentially. But he can't attack for now. Yeah, he can just do garbage like that and honestly who cares? He's not even he's attacking with everything? Yo he really wants to scry, huh? Man, he really wants to do that scry magic, huh? Okay. This is good for us. This is pretty good for us. Because this... Oh, bro, he did. He did not see that one coming, eh? Uh... Sure, do it like this. Yeah, this is as good as it's gonna get. Okay, and now we have a lot of HP to work with. Well, not that much, honestly, but hey, it's it's as good as it gets. Okay, and now I can do this. Security bypass on that. One more way to generate stuff, essentially, just, just like that. And... I might as well exile you, why not, honestly, at this point. And now I can do this. More tokens, more possess. Oh wait, no wait. Um, do I pay? I have a feeling, yeah, sure. Honestly, how how is that gonna hurt me, right? Okay, just do this, do that. Ooh, boon of safety, eh? Probably not. Now we need we need to search for more. Man, this is insane. This is wild, boy. Ah, uh, Generous Visitor is actually probably better than Security Bypass because I need... I need mass now, huh? Well, no, actually I don't need mass that much. Um, just drop the Skeever because it's a threat? He can't add a lane and he's gonna lose next turn. If whatever he does, I have gotten the just, you know, destroy the ossification, so yeah. Dude, your ossification is not that ossifying. <laughs> yeah, it's not that really ossifying now, is it? Well, admittedly, imagine a world where it actually works out for him and he just has two ossifications. Yeah. Hey, hey. Agatha's Cauldron, what a champion. What an absolute champion card. There we go, the unbelievable victory. Wow, look at this hand, pretty good. All the lands and an Illuminate Virtuoso. Admittedly, I'm not gonna prob- Ooh! Wait, maybe we do drop him at- Yes! Actually, you know what, 100%- Well, I'm not gonna drop him. I'm gonna drop this. Because if this is Werewolves, we have a good chance of winning if he doesn't have removal. Because we can buff this and it's gone. Also happens, but that was kind of anticipated. But again, I just dropped it because the, uh, the, main, uh, the main deal here is... Oof, man. Serial? Because the main he uh, deal here is obviously... Well, bu bu buffing up this bad boy right here. So, I wonder... Well, I'm gonna probably block... Well, I'm gonna fake block into a slippy. So that should be pretty good. And then I'm just gonna audacity and probably win the game. Man. If you have the Virtuoso at the start... You're just winning stuff, okay? <laughs> you are just winning things. Wait, he does nothing? Okay. If, if you're gonna do nothing, I'm just gonna do this. I don't even need the Skeever. Skeever's the best discard we honestly have. Do that, get it all back. Honestly, sure, let's do this. Huh. Oh, a duelist. Well, I don't need that. So, let's see. This is probably six damage. Do I want to buff it more? Well, he's never gonna probably have enough to, you know, just get- Oh, that's big! Okay, okay. I'm not gonna go overboard with this, because I already technically have gone overboard. Again, at the very core, this is as OP as it gets because of, well, one simple thing. And it's the fact that we are using the Illuminate Virtuoso. People don't play him no longer, but... Man, this card is overpowered.
Double strike 1-1 one, one with connive. Absolutely ridiculous. And people are like, oh no, that's not a problem. Yeah, yeah, not, not a problem at all. <laughs> said, pro said no one ever. In any case, what can he do? He can just attack and kind of hope for the best, I guess? I can do this again. There's nothing he can do about this. He doesn't even attack, but again, uh, what difference does it make at this point? Not a lot. Truly, truly not a lot. Okay, we got the Soul Cauldron. Is there anything I want to exile? Well, I could exile the Skeever. Oh, but I might as well honestly just do this. <laughs> it's ridiculous what we can do with this. Go first, three lands and a Virtuoso. In an Audacity and, well, double protection. This is good. Oh, this is red. Oof. And perfect red because this, well, this is going to be a matchup in that case. You know what? Usually I would never do this, but since we have double Virtuoso, sure, have one. If he doesn't play a creature and doesn't do the plus one one effect, this is actually good for us. If he does play a creature because of greed and doesn't get rid of the Virtuoso, well, we just get a better next turn. Hmm. Still a high possibility of a, uh, of spot removal. Yeah, obviously. Uh, there's no such thing as mono red that doesn't have a uh, play with five. Ooh. Yo, this is this the, the, dude. This is our game. Okay, the, this is our game. There's no way we lose with this, right? That's just it, it doesn't happen. It's just not written in the stars above, right? Yeah, take up shields against red is well. It's the card that we want. Ah, oh, never to lose against red again. Oh, that's annoying. Eh. I mean, yeah, it's annoying, but... Wait, do I just... Hmm. You know what? I can just... Boon. Ooh, cauldron. Ah, uh, yeah. The cauldron... Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Like this. Definitely like this. Oh, Homestead Courage, that's even bigger! Man, this is good. And remember, the shield doesn't actually disappear because, well, reasons. Okay, so I slightly just need to worry about my opponent, you know, getting rid of me next turn. But other than that, I can exile the Virtuoso. Exile Virtuoso 3-3, three, three. do this, do this now, no, do this later, do this du- I- I think the choice is double homestead? Do this, do nothing, wait this, no. It, yeah, it has, it has to be double homestead. Yeah, homestead is just too strong, right? Uh, Slippy Jimmy or land? It's gonna be the land, because we can't draw the lands at the moment. And this still, by the way, bumps it up, so, you know, it's absolutely 100% fine. Haha! <laughs> Also, four. Yeah, four is fine, okay? And now it's five. So essentially, we have just set up for the perfect victory next turn, if anything. The chances that he deals 10 damage here... It's possible. But low probability at the same time. Like, he's probably getting this effect, right? Which is stupid, by the way, just, you know, FYI. But he's never passing the Virtuoso, because that's simply impossible. Unless... No, there's no unless in this case. Yeah, there's no unless in this case. Okay, it's fine. This is fine. Wait. I actually needed to keep the audacity. No, he's gonna all in. Man, this card is stupid. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't even attack with everything. Okay. Um, in that case, I can actually wait next turn for stuff to happen. Uh, the might, you say? This is an instant. He has to block, but he doesn't have to block that hard. I mean, the attack happens no matter what, right? It, it literally happens no matter what. Because I'm gonna survive next turn because I have take-up shields. Yeah, this is kind of... I... 
Why did I- why did I discard the audacity like that, instead of the cauldron? Like, w why? Why did I do that? That's- that's not good. Oh, that's pretty decent. But it's too late for it, sadly. I'm uh, gonna keep Skeever, doesn't really matter too much. He probably thinks he's gonna get that uh, sweet, sweet dub here, but keep in mind, I'm just- I'm, I'm just gonna uh, spill a uh, slip out the back on the- on this guy. So that's why I kept slip out the back, but man, this was unexpected. Dude! What? Audacity is one of our best cards. What? what? How did I just discard it two times and I'm just noticing now? It's not like my first time playing a similar deck to this. I know exactly how good Audacity is, but wow. Oh, and that's just stupid, but that's fine. I mean, sure, cheap. Oh, he's going for... Oh, 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 we win. Man, a red player? Yo. Yo, you, you know how it be, boys. Oh, no. Oh, no. So sad. Oh, the sadness. Oh, look at that, an audacity. Literally never punished. Yeah. That, that's indeed good game -y. good game -y. Well, it was vague to over hot, I'm not gonna lie. Our draws were not perfect. But, everything else, pretty fine indeed, pretty fine indeed. Good game, dude, good game. Oh wow, this is way more fine than I thought. But the question is, do I drop the coast and go for the uh, might? Or do I... I think I have to drop the Skeever just because maybe I security bypass him. Because, oh, interesting. Oof. Well, with interesting, I mean. Well, this at least is an option, I guess. And we're attacking with Skeever? Mm. But Skeever's gonna be the first target anyway, so we're gonna attack anyway. Okay. So, it, it, it's as good as it gets. If he goes for the removal on the vendor, I'm honestly fine. If he doesn't, it's fine. Oh, wow! He... He unironically did that, huh? Alright. That's... That's something. That's... That's really something. In this case, now I want this more alive than anything else because of the security bypass. So, I guess... Oh. Okay. Very interesting situation, not gonna lie. Also, an interesting combo of cards. So, by the way, if you do make this, and you expect instantaneously without playing a single game to be amazing with this and have no problems in life and blah blah blah, don't play me, okay? Even Mono or Red takes 10 games to learn how to play it if you have never played it, and Mono Red is the lowest pilota uh, pilotage Oh, well, anything you can do with magic, technically, I guess. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, you can't block that one, Chief. It is what it is. Big O. Um, oh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. Me likey, me likey. Yes, this duelist is pretty good, considering I can just pay the, uh, pay the life here. Okay, he's gonna be in a bad position now. Because I can constantly draw with security bypass. Now there's a dust leak. Okay, yeah. Uh, as expected, and I'm just gonna do this. Not risking anything. Okay, and we're gonna go for black, obviously. Admittedly, there's a 50-50 chance he uses black. Whoa! Whoa! Ah, oh, man, why do you have to be like that, man? A ain't, ain't, ain't that a pickle? A ain't that just not that great? Oof. Well, if I draw 15 million lands, probably not gonna end good for us, not gonna lie. Gonna keep this land because, well, no point in not keeping it. But yeah, well, Sheldred on curve. There's not a lot any deck does against that, you know, just FYI. Slip out the back, that's at least good. Let's see, well, we're still attacking. We are definitely still attacking. I'm not gonna slip Shreldred out. It's not that hard to win, it's just kinda... I mean, how many lands is that? That's a lot of lands, dude. 
That's that's a lot of lands, not gonna lie. A little bit too much, in fact, for, you know, my likings, not gonna lie. And big score. Interesting. Oh, he actually went for... Oh, because he doesn't care. Okay. He's gaining a lot of life. And that's on my turn. Oof, man. Big O. Someone... Well, at least someone favors you. Oh, wow. Are we kidding? Are, are, are we like... Are we kidding? Well, he only got the Chandra. Wait, he can't even use the Chandra properly. I'm still gonna survive with that. What did he mill here? I didn't check. Okay, he didn't mill our... What did he get? Skiver? Yeah, that's that's not impressive. Oh, he does that? That's... Crazy bad, not gonna lie. Okay. Uh, and now he plays that. Right. Okay. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Can can we relax here a little bit? This this doesn't seem safe, you know? This doesn't seem kosher at all. Okay, Audacity is pretty okay. Or is it? Um, probably not. Okay, I need to draw the cards here, Uvu. Gaining a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. The shield, the shield. The shield's not bad. I, I could technically do that. If I do it on that, what? Okay, what are my choices? My, my choices are attack this and then what? Do nothing? I can still win here. That's the thing. I just need to draw anything that honestly just gives me a single, a single shred, a single point of HP gain. And we can easily win that. But, you know, obviously that's that's not the easiest thing in the world to do. <laughs> and he just double big scored, which means he can probably cast one more of these cards. Now, I'm not saying this guy is winning the lottery, but... I mean, he's, he's kind of close to winning the lottery. But look at this. His RNG is, well, pretty flawless, let's be real. One of the best things in the game is casting big score on curve. And it's even better if you cast it on your opponent's turn. Whenever blah blah blah. Okay, trample haste, no one cares. Ah, that's fine. I mean, I can get past this, but what's the point? Um... He's just gonna pick white, isn't he? Ah, that's fine. Maybe he misclicks. There's always a chance for the last dance. Oh, wait, what did you... Oh, yeah, it is hexproof from white. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Ta-ta! <laughs> Boom. Yeah, well, we kind of just made it stronger, but it is what it is. Okay, so, what now? We're gonna cast this probably on that instantly, huh? That's not gonna be good. Um, wait, um, okay, okay, this is good. This is now good. Because I want this scry, I want that scry really bad. Again, we can win easily. We just need one card that gives, that gives us a little bit of that sweet, sweet HP. Because this is not bad. You know? He probably can't really do too much here. And as long as we survive just one extra turn, we can win. Because this is going to be still draw. We have plenty of mana to work with. This is slightly annoying, I guess, but not a big deal. And we get this turn. Okay. If we draw lifelink, we win. That's not lifelink. If we draw lifelink, we win. Come on, baby. I'm sorry, does this even remotely look to you like lifelink wizards? Because, you know, uh, I'm, 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 you know, I, I have questions. Maybe I shouldn't have actually dropped that, but that's fine. Okay, 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 okay. So, what now? I mean, we, 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 we just attack face. That That's our only hope at this point in time. That's, that's our only hope. Too bad this doesn't have vigilance, but it is what it is. Man, come on! How many lands have I drawn? 15? 200 gazillion? A trillion, maybe? 
In any case, Illumin Tverto, so might as well drop him. Man! But look at how we're doing against, well, someone who had Shreldred on curve and felt pretty much the encompassing perfection of the world at their feet. Oh, because, oh, because he can just do that and we're dead. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense if you think about it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he can also just minus X because this is any target, so, uh, you could act, yeah, you could do that to my face. Well, this was pretty close. This was as close as, as it gets, considering, well, <laughs> Good game, though, good game. Close. Man, we one card the way from winning, essentially. Man, those were some good games. Can't wait for all the comments saying, made this when 050, your fault, Quasar Sensei. Hey, it is what it is. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. This was Quasar Sensei. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.